All right, Raymond, I know you have an update on that story that you brought us last night on the hotels in Manhattan being transformed into these migrant centers. What's the latest? Laura, scenes like this have greeted New York commuters outside the Roosevelt Hotel, which have been transformed into uh, shelters for illegal migrants. I spoke with local business owners and those who work in the area. What have you seen being this close? I mean, your, your store literally backs up to the Roosevelt Hotel. Right. What have you witnessed? It's, it's really horrible. Horrible with children, kids, babies, mothers, fathers sitting on the floor. They don't know what they are doing. It's not even, even affecting just, just this business. It's affecting all the businesses around this area. What do you think of the city spending $225 million to house these migrants here? First of all, that's a crazy number. I mean, city needs those money elsewhere, no doubt. Uh, why, is, why does New York owe this to the rest of the United States for this to pay that bill? That I don't know. This should definitely be dealt differently. I'm going to tell you what I feel about this. We have homeless vets here in this city and state, and we're not even taking care of our own people. I believe... I believe in helping everybody, but how do we go about helping other people when we're not even taking care of... There's a homeless vet that used to sleep in there, and he can no longer sleep in his doorway because now it's taken by the migrants. It's just... It's, it's a travesty. And shame, shame, shame on Eric Adams. Have you heard about the pilot program that they're offering to people in which they're going to offer them five different states to live out of? give them a stipend to live for a year and give them work. And I got this from a friend of mine who was a counselor here in the hotel. This is not the solution. And we have to do something about the border. Let's face it. Laura, the city of New York has already spent $5 billion to care for the 100,000-plus migrants, and more are coming. And we don't know who yeah. they are. Yeah, we have seven, what, seven and a half million people and counting, and, on, and then gotaways. Yeah. Uh, there are public schools and our ESL programs are completely overloaded. We don't have enough teachers for the American kids. And, and, and it's it's and, ridiculous. Health care, all the rest. People underestimate the danger of this, Laura. ICE just arrested 366 illegal people with criminal records, and 75,000 illegals have now been named national security threats by Border Patrol. The worst is yet to come. And as long as we're talking about scary things, for Joe Biden and all the world, these could be the most frightening words ever uttered. The word of the day is understand. Joe Biden's going to be fine. But let us also understand that every vice president, every vice president, understands that when they take the oath, that they must be very clear about the responsibility they may have to take over the job of being president. I am no different. Why don't I feel reassured, Laura? You hear that? Mm. That's like verbal x lax Everybody runs to the toilets when they hear that. Uh, but this conversation of Kamala Harris's president in waiting is becoming more urgent because we have a president now giving quickie speeches. And when he does host an event like at yesterday's medal ceremony, he just wanders out in the middle of the proceedings. Look at the faces of the photographer and one of the attendees. They're like, where the hell is he going? Should I leave? I don't know what to do here. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing he gets away well, with this. It looks like that Medal of Honor recipient was almost relieved when <laughs> Biden left the stage. I, well. I, I sensed a, a feeling of relief coming over him. Yet the White House spokesman claims this was all planned, the quick getaway. He left as planned, as it was planned. Uh, he left uh, when there was a pause in the program in order to minimize, to minimize his close contact with attendees. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Laura, what? the dog that eight Secret Service agents did not have close contact with people, but Biden is in close contact. He shouldn't have come to the event if he's in clo well, doesn't right, want to be in close contact he's with hanging people. 
he's hanging the medal around the recipient's neck. I mean, as an elder, two elderly uh, gentlemen, this man's an American hero, and he has to have him breathing on him. I don't care if he tested positive or not. Are we doing contact tracing still? We, I'm sure there's a lot of contact tracing <laughs> that we should be doing for Biden. God, this is a nightmare. It is, at least he found the exit, Laura. That's a plus. I'll give him that. That is progress, and we'll take it wherever we can get it. Raymond, thank you. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.